Good evening, Pio Nation. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a really great day. My name is Matt Williamson, and you're watching Married to College Esports. Tonight, we have our Rainbow Six team going up against Drexel University. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait, oh, yeah, I've heard this before, and that's because you have. Uh, last semester, we played against uh, Drexel. It was actually our first match in Collegiate R6 for the season, so it's quite poetic, if you will, that it will be our last match for the, uh, the Collegiate R6 season for this semester. Uh, the semester is winding down, so I do believe this will be our last game. So we are getting things set up with the lobby. We already got uh, the maps figured out. I got to pull up here on my little piece of paper. So uh, this will be a best of three series with Clubhouse first, uh, then Bank, then followed by Cafe if we go to game three. Marietta will be defending all three of them first. Uh, so that means Drex will be attacking in all three games first. Uh, before we get to the roster for our team, because we're still waiting to get things uh, set up here uh, for the lobby, I do want to do a quick shout out. We hit a, a milestone earlier today. Uh, we, as of now, we have officially 200 followers for our uh, Twitch channel. So thank you so much for your support. Uh, it is much appreciated. Uh, I never really expected that. Uh, how much our esports program would be uh, growing just as quickly as it has been. And it's thanks to people like you who are watching, who are following, not just on Twitch, but either on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube. So your support is much appreciated. So thank you so much. With that said, let's get into our game, or at least get to the, uh, the roster for our Rainbow Six team. So as I mentioned for the past couple, several weeks, uh, because of things that's been going on with COVID-19, uh, not all of our players are going to be able to participate because they don't have access to our esports facility. Uh, but tonight, uh, we will have uh, Large Nuggo, Vincent Anderson, our team captain playing. Uh, we'll have Rez474, Dylan Poles, Global Flex7, Bobby Weber, uh, Black Bulldog, Zenze Mi, and Rico Rodriguez, Ying Zhang Wang. Uh, so we already have Mary in the lobby. We're just waiting for... Uh, Drexel, I just got a chance to talk with their captain. Uh, we should be getting things underway very soon. Right, I'm going to just double check here to see uh, if everyone is online yet. Uh, we're not quite there yet, so that's fine. Uh, it'll just take a couple more minutes to, to get things going. Um, see, I already mentioned the, the map, so the first one will be Clubhouse. Uh, then bank and of course cafe, uh, cafe if we did go to a, a game three. Uh, so while we are uh, waiting to get uh, the game underway, uh, just a, a few quick announcements. As, as I mentioned, the, the season is winding down for our esports program. Uh, next week is actually the last week of classes. Uh, so we're going to start uh, ending practices and there aren't really too many matches after this. In fact, I don't know if we really have any matches going on after today. So this could be our last uh, broadcasted match in a while. That does not mean that we're done broadcasting, though. Uh, we are going to try to do some things during the summer. Uh, we're even going to try to do a couple things in the next few weeks. So, for instance, uh, I've mentioned this for quite some time now, uh, but every Thursday until the end of the semester, we'll be having a weekly Jackbox game night. Uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So we'll just get some of the players together and we'll play some Jackbox games, whether uh, it's Fibbage or whether it's, I don't know, TKO or Patently Stupid or Gaspionage, Quiplash. Uh, we've done it two, uh, two times now. It's been an absolute blast. Uh, we do plan doing it again next Thursday. Uh, and if there's a enough support and we'll, we'll maybe try to make this an, an ongoing thing i know our, our players have a good time and uh, we get twitch chat involved with it some that even actually get to be able to play as uh, contestants so it's been uh, a lot of fun so please be sure to come over uh next thursday at seven o'clock and we will uh try to we will have that up for you um so let's see here still waiting for uh waiting for Drexel so hopefully uh, someone will be online soon so I can get them invited so we can get this uh, a game underway and we'll also be trying to uh, broadcast a couple of our uh, practices we, we still are doing a few things with overwatch so we'll try to have it up here as much as we can and also our League of Legends team our new League of Legends recruits are going to be scrimmaging 
uh, quite a bit, even during the summer. So we are going to be trying to uh, broadcast as much of those uh, as possible. And then, of course, we're going to be working on something where uh, we'll be hosting several of our individual players. Uh, they'll be doing some streaming during the summer. So we want a chance for you guys to be able to see who those players are, be able to uh, follow them, watch them, uh, play comp or casual play or whatever they're doing. So uh, don't be surprised in the near future where uh, you see us hosting several of our players. But all right, still waiting for, um, still waiting for Drexel to uh, be here. So I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna step away just for a minute just to see what's going on try to get everyone here and then hopefully we'll be back in just a minute uh, so we can get game one underway so don't go away we'll be back in just a minute Right, and welcome back thank you for waiting uh, we're getting everyone in the the lobby right now so it should just be just a few more minutes uh, before uh, we get things underway so let me get uh, some things here set up with the audio to make sure I'm not missing anything with it uh, let's See if I can get the I get there we go. I'm just gonna do a quick ready check here. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I try to say this for every time I broadcast a Rainbow Six game. Um, I am a filthy casual at best. So my uh, game knowledge is very limited, if you will. So this could be quite entertaining. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Dodgeball, and if you remember the, the last game where you got the... Uh, the shoutcaster who was pretty much Captain Obvious, I'm that guy. And I know you're, what you're thinking. Well, why don't you just go like watch ESL or some of the pros to be able to learn to commentate from them? I would love to, but I am also a full-time college professor. So trying to We're handle go. my courses and trying to handle uh, managing all these esports teams, quite a bit to do. Okay, just make sure, okay. Got the ready check from Drexel. 
And now I'm just trying to make sure that Marietta is ready. All right, they're ready. We're gonna start it up, which means I need to get the overlay here for you guys. So here we go, game one, Marietta College versus Drexel University, the rematch. So Marietta will be defending first, so we'll see what uh, offensive off that they want to ban. Uh, there's been, lately I've been seeing Thatcher bans, uh, becoming very popular. I was surprised at it at first, but it kind of makes sense. And maybe for a game like this, it does, it could, but no, Marietta's going to go with the Maverick instead. Uh, they don't want any reinforced walls being burned through and giving Maverick the, the extra peak that he can uh, get. But let's see what Drexel will, will, will ban. And they're going to go with a Monty. Okay, so Thatcher is up in play. So this is Clubhouse where we have that infamous wall by the Cash TV room. So I think we're going to see a little bit of that cat and mouse game. Unless there's like a bandit uh, ban. It would be very interesting if that were the case. So will we get that? No, instead we're going to get the Kaid ban. That's interesting too because usually it'd be like, what, Mira and Echo are usually the big defensive bans? But no, they don't. Well, I mean, to be fair, Kaid is has the little electric thingies he's got so you know, I guess that kind of makes sense so we'll I don't think Mary would ban ban I mean they're on defense they don't want to do that no they're gonna ban echo instead but that does mean Mira is in play very interesting choice by Drexel just because I mean I guess they don't want both bandit and Kaid uh, being up at the same time that's the only thing I can think of once again, I'm a level 5 Rainbow Six player. I got just enough levels so I can spectate games for you guys. So, sure enough, we do see the Bandit coming out for Marietta. It definitely would be expected. Uh, Thatcher is going to be on uh, Drexel's side. And Jackal was not banned. Although, I haven't really seen Jackal be banned as much. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. And I know, at least for Marietta, they don't really, at least this roster, is not one that likes to roam as much. So I don't know how effective the Jack will be. I guess we'll see. Uh, but, I mean, we see traps with the Capcan, Jaeger, good old castle. I mean, nothing too out of the ordinary. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. All right, so... Go ahead and have them get their defenses set up. Alright, yeah, so we're seeing the wall being fortified as what they expect. Seconds left before insertion. Five seconds remaining. Traps set up. Drones are coming out. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. So here we go. Round one has begun. So let's see. It looks like Drexel's going to go straight for that wall. We see Wolfmaster already there. Actually, no, that's the wrong button. And no, he's not going for the wall. He's going to. They're just going to start with the roof. Cover me. He's actually going to work the way around, but he's going to find it. That's going to. So they're going to use. Time to make a new door. Interesting choice here. So that one was electrified, but they decided to uh, breach it. But now they're going to come over here. So that was done as a distraction. It looks like they're going to try to find a way to get through here. He's going to take a couple of. Hits, but not too much going on. Reloading, cover me. So with that, his last thermite charge was actually used. So they get a small hole, but uh, they don't get the uh, the penetration that they were looking for. So Havana is going to be trying to 
get some holes in, but they're not going to be able to blast their way through. But Fiery Combat was able to get a frag onto Rez, so he's worked his way in. But now he's going to be trying to see if he can catch anyone else. And there's a trap. Meanwhile, Bulldog is going to be just staying put, looking around. Rico's doing the same thing. I mean, there's a guy right by that door. So that's going to come through. And he's going to spot out Rico. So will he make his way in, knowing that Rico's right there? A little pre-fire comes out, but nothing's going to connect. Bulldog's moving around. Shadow Monarchs has actually taken out uh, Bulldog. But Fiery Combat has gone down. Rico was able to take him out. Of course, I missed the, uh, the ends here. Let's see. Let's go look through the Rico again. The wall has been breached, but Rico's going to go down. There's only two left for Marietta. So it's a 2v3. Nuggo and Bobo are the only ones left. 45 seconds remains in the round. And Nuggo does spot someone, but moves away. Meanwhile, Shadow Monarch is just kind of looking to see if anyone is in the, uh, what is that, the garage? I think it's like a garage type structure. I don't know the callouts. Like I said, I'm, I'm bad at the game. Attackers dropped and keeps the reloading. But Picky actually goes down by Nuggo uh, during that, although Boba is knocked down, and I don't think Nuggo's going to be able to revive. But they only have 10 seconds left, 10 so they're going to have to go. find Nuggo if they want to take the round, or they would try to plant. Five seconds remaining. And I Attack think Mary is going to hold the round, so yeah, round Operator one will go to Marietta. A little scary there, actually. I mean, Nuggo was the only one that was left up. But it was just difficult for Drexel to be able to get the diffuser down. So, all right. A little close for comfort, but you know what? We'll take those. We will definitely take those. All right, so let's see uh, if there are any adjustments. I mean, of course, Mary is going to have to change uh, where they're going to be at. It looks like they're going to be Church Arsenal, so down in the basement. So, looks like we're going to get the Mute out. I mean, of course, we don't need Bandit this time because we're going to be at the bottom. But we see Maestro Mute coming out for Marietta. And it doesn't look like anything too surprising or any different for... Defenders, protect your um, bombs from being defused by attackers. is set up and they did get that speed force right okay five seconds left before insertion attackers objective is to locate a bomb and defuse all right so round two has officially begun so once again we will see and nogo with the instant spawn peak kill So that is going to definitely throw off uh, Drexel's attack strategy. I was not expecting that frag uh, that early. I mean, he's basically taking down the word go. Giovanna's going to be working on breaching on that, uh, that panel. Got a monarch is going to take down Boba Flex, so it is a 44. And he's like, you know what? I'll take my drum back. Why not? Nogo's going to suspect that someone's up there. And he would be correct. Ivana is up there. He's going to try to see if he can spot her. Deploying drone. And he might, we might get something here. Maybe? 
No, oh, never mind. Hibana's not there anymore. So we'll see. Uh, Thermite looking by the stairs. Puts the claymore down. So right now, Drexel does have good control of the uh, second floor. Seems to be a, a little high here. Let me try to adjust this just a, a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah, that way the game's not too loud uh, for you guys. All right. Reapers are looking, peeking around, to trying to see if he can spot anyone. They got 50 seconds left, so they are going to have to start making a move soon. They don't want to take too much time. Uh, on offense. Uh, Rez is just kind of sticking around, and we see Nelgo and Bodo just kind of hanging out together. Uh, well, speaking of that, uh, Bodo did go down. I think he was able to get the frag, so Nelgo is on alert. He does catch. He catches one and knocks him down, but he yeah. ends up falling. So now Rico is the only one that's left for Marietta. And he's going to go down and Drex will take the round. I was a little surprised by that. Nuggles should have at least gotten that frag, but uh, was not able to. But then again, I think it was moot anyway. Because the rest of Drexel were able to finish off the rest. So we are tied one round apiece. So we'll see if Marina makes any adjustments. And so far, I, we're not seeing any major changes from Drexel. In fact, I, it's the same composition as before. Uh, now we're going to see the Legion coming out and the Dock. I know Rico likes to play Dock. He, he, he'll play either Dock or Rook, but uh, he's going to go with that. Bulldog will keep Capkin, Rez will keep Maestro. But we also see the smoke by Nuggo. I know uh, Nuggo's been playing smoke a lot lately. I think he used that quite often uh, in last week's match against Embry Riddle. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Of course, they'll try the same sp uh, bomb site. But we'll see if the lesion traps will make a difference. I think Marina should have had that round. I mean, getting that early uh, frag should have made the difference, but uh, kudos to Drexel uh, for being able to keep their composure and even it up and then take the uh, the round. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds remaining. Attackers must locate and defuse a bomb. All right, so the round has begun. So we're gonna see what fiery combat's up to. Can we look around to see if he spots anyone? Not gonna happen. Nuggo is not gonna do this. Although he does suspect that someone is there, and he would be correct. But the thing is, Drexel knows that too. He, they know that someone's down there. So Marriott is trying to defend that hatch. Fire right, combat's gonna try to see spots in. He does spot one. We already see Boba has taken a, a couple of hits. Nothing too concerning. I'm not gonna find anyone. The Wolfmaster is going to be using the drone. Well, Shadow Monarch is looking around to see if anyone's by the entrance. He's going to start working his way in. Okay, although one person from area does get spotted out, the Jackal is going to catch. It's all about to tell exactly who. These trap does go off. Looks like he will catch Legion. He 
Meanwhile, Picky is going to be the one trying to breach. And Wolfmaster does get a frag onto Bulldo. Gunfire is being exchanged. Smoke, the uh, the yellow smoke comes out. They're seeing combat has taken some damage. I think it was a trap, if I remember correctly. Attackers have located a bomb. And they do have about 30 seconds left, so they're gonna have to start working their way in. Because kind of way Nago is already a uh, knock on death's door. And Perez is gonna use the camera to try to stop Thermite. But it's gonna be taken out before it happens. The thermite charge is gonna go off. And fiery combat's knocking down. And a double kill there by Rez. Is that a triple kill? No, uh, Bulldo did get the killing blow. So round three will go to Marietta. But we are seeing, um, looks like Drexel's going to be going with the same setup. Although Marion is going to be bringing out the Bandit's Castle Rook, although they're going to swap back to the, uh, the cash room. They're getting things set up. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. So the round has begun. And they may be heading straight. Well, they're going to go straight for the roof first. So they may try the strategy that they did uh, last time where they'll infiltrate the other wall first and then work their way around. In fact, let's see if that's uh, what Thermite did. And actually, no, he's going to start uh, for that wall. It is electrified. They're going to use the uh, the EMP grenade and try to see if they get the charge off. And they will get the wall. Attackers have located a bomb. Drone spinning up. Drone activated. We are seeing some gunfire exchange. If I can find it. The Reaper is trying to reach the hole and try to catch someone, and he does get Rico. But he takes some fire, but does not find. And he actually sees someone, but uh, I think it might have been Rez uh, knocked down. He should get revived. A 
And Reba's getting a double kill, so this has been a great round for Reba. Picky gets the frag onto Bulba. So Bluto and Nugga are the only ones left. Nugga does get a frag onto Fiery Combat, but he's now knocked down. And now Bulldo is going to try to revive him, but... Well, we see Reaper is going to go down, so uh, Bulldo is going to do his best to revive. Nugo does get him, but they're both extremely low in health. In fact, Bulldo does go down, so all that's left is Nugo. He's going to have to take out the remaining three. But with his, the as low as his health is, there wasn't much that he can do. Alright, so it looks like Marita is going to try a different spot. So they're going to go with Jim Bedroom, since that did not work out uh, well for them. So we'll see uh, if the new placement uh, has an effect or if it makes a difference in this round. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. has begun we are seeing Drexel work their way in so they are going to work on breaching the wall and we do see the MP, EMP grenade coming out the capture will try to get it off and it looks like they will get it off in time We'll use the drone to try to catch anyone. But the mute there is going to say, nope. A bomb has been located. And we do see Nugga getting a frag onto fiery combat. We might see. And there's a double kill for Nugga. Bolo is going to be looking around trying to see if he spots anyone, but with two already down for uh, Drexel, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So they will drone around. Wolfmaster is going to be uh, trying okay, to breach another wall. Right and Picky actually goes down. Do see Marinette was able to finish off uh, the last member for Drexel and take the round.
All right. So Marietta is up three to two. And it looks like they're going to go with the church arsenal room again. But we do see Legion and Mute uh, coming out. And we're actually going to see Fiery Combat possibly swap from Ash to IQ? Maybe? And we do see that this is actually the first time that uh, Drexel is adjusting their composition. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. So I think Fiery Combat's realizing that Jackal may not be as effective. Uh, we do have a roamer on our team, but he's not able to play. So the lack of roaming is not allowing Jackal to be as effective um, than if we did have roamers. Ten seconds left. Five seconds to insertion. Attacker's objective is to locate right, so a bomb. So the round has begun. We'll see. I take out any possible cameras. Maybe look for traps. Not gonna catch anything. Meanwhile, Picky will be uh, working on infiltrating that back door. Should get the uh, the breach. Now it's gonna be checked to see if anyone's nearby. It's not gonna catch anyone just yet. The mute is going to make it difficult. Meanwhile, Nogo's gonna be just kind of chilling over at the pool table. We'll let him be. Pluto and Rico are over by the bomb site. Uh, so if we go back checking with Picky to see, it doesn't look like anyone's going to go by uh, that oh, back yeah, path. see some possible gunfire going uh, fiery combat was trying to shoot the wall to see if anyone was there but no one was claymore will come down we will check to catch a couple of traps along the way and reaper is taking some damage i think he triggered a trap then we start dropping the fry see if he catches anyone there is someone there and i wonder if he did spot the foot he had to see that foot but Rico is going to take down Monarch, and Nogo did go down uh, earlier, and I missed that, my bad. You know, Bob is going to be checking the stairs, and there's that, if I remember right, that's where the Claymore is. So if he goes any further, he's got to spot that Claymore. Watch out. Okay, he's going to fall back. I think he knows there's a Claymore, so he's going to be like, nope, not going up there. Rez is checking to see if anyone's by, not going to spot anyone. Rico, I think he suspects there's someone there and actually knocks him down. He's going to go down though. Ten seconds left. So it was a train and there's only 10 seconds left. And now Drexel's going to be trying to work Five their way in to uh, put down the diffuser. Reaper gets the double kill. Picky's going to plant the diffuser. And Marietta gets the stop at the last second. So we now are at round seven. Marietta is up four to two. So now they will be attacking. So a great advantage uh, so far. So they only need just a, a couple of rounds to take this.
All right, so now we're going to see some different compositions, of course, because the sides have swapped. Now we're going to see how does Attackers Drexel handle and uh, defense and how does Marietta handle offense. So we are underway. So we'll see how Marietta is going to handle things. That so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Boba. He does like to play Thermite. So are they going to try to go straight for that wall, or are they going to try to take an alternative route? Stop worrying about grenades now. Looks like he will be heading over by the wall, and it's clearly electrified and there's definitely some holes to make it easy to hear what's going on attackers have located a bomb so they are going to need thatcher over here so speaking of thatcher res there there you are okay Device is going and down. bodo does get the frag onto reaper early on so now we're going to try to get it off and Bobo is not able to get it off in time so they will try again And it looks like they are going to get the wall. They do get the breach. Meanwhile, we do see Bolo and, Bolo and Nuggo uh, hanging together. They're going to take a little bit of fire so they know that someone is over there. We'll wait to see if anyone keeps firing around the stairs. And Rez is going to go down. It's actually just a trade because Bodo gets another kill uh, onto Picky. Now Bobo gets a frag onto Fire. Come, I'm just missing stuff left and right here. So, oh, there, there's some gunfire. The flash grenade comes out, but I don't think he got blinded. Good try though. The Wolfmaster did get that frag. Uh, he's gonna know something's going on over there. Boba Flex is putting down the diffuser. And Nuggo gets the frag on Shadow Monarch. Activating diffuser. And with that, Marietta will take the round. Marietta is just two rounds away from taking game one. We'll see if Marietta goes with the same composition or if they make any adjustments. We do see the Bond and Thermite out again, and it looks like we're already get a, a Sophia from Nuggo. And it looks like they will be going the church arsenal room uh, with Legion, Maestro, Valkyrie. Interesting choice there. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, never mind. We're going to see the bandit instead. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Of course, is that wall being fortified? Yeah, it, it's gotta be. Like, if you forget to fortify this back door here, why why are you playing this game? I don't know. Attack Although that's probably something I would forget to do. Reload 
Ten seconds to go. Any touches, we see Rez has got a nice little camera spot up here. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. So here we go. And there's already some gunfire. Maybe look oh, okay, he's just trying to get a hole and see if he can catch anything. I thought maybe there was something going on. You know, Rico was doing some gunfire. Looking for traps. And they are going to use Havana to try to breach through. Reloading. Checking for any spawn peaks. And Wolfmaster saw Bulldog coming over there and was ready to pick him off the moment he walked in. It was like, Lucy, I'm holding on. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Meanwhile, Rez and Bobo are still working their way in, trying to find a door. There's the door. Rez will drone in to see if there's anyone by. I think they'll find that the coast is clear. Well, Nuggo's already worked his way in. No one's nearby. It seems like Ruxless is kind of holding position. Although Reaper Attackers getting the frag onto Boba, so now two for Marietta's down. That is going to make it difficult for Marietta to pull this through. There are shots fired. I could not tell who it was. You would think that with this new UI, with people using up ammo, I should be able to see who it was. I'm going to guess Nago, because he took some damage. And Rico's actually going to fall, so there's only two left. Now it's one left for Marietta. And with that, Drexel has a really good round. They just seem to feel pretty good about the uh, the hiding spots and be able to spot out Marietta. And maybe Marietta was very predictable? I'm, I'm not so sure with that one, but... I think part of it was just their their entrances were very um, was very well broadcasted, so they were able to punish them for that. So now we're going to see a change up, and Rico's going to go with the Doka B. All right, we'll see if uh, hacking those cell phones will make a, a difference here. But it is five to three, round nine. So it still can be a close, close game here. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. So we are back at the CCTV cash room. So we are underway with the next round, so let's see what Mary decides to do. I'm curious about Dokubi. I'm reloading! Window blocked! Cover me, reloading! Looks like he's gonna be working his way around. Meanwhile, will Mary try to go for the wall? I don't know if they know if that's where the uh, the bomb is, but we do see Boba heading towards it. And he's going to see it's electrified, so they probably know that, okay, the bomb is here. Device. 
I was gonna play the, the game. And Nuggle actually takes out Fiery Combat. Was that with a, uh... Is that with the C4? I think that was with the C4. Totally missed it. Meanwhile, they were having trouble with infiltrating the, the walls, so they may have to check alternative approaches. They're gonna be like, nope, we're just gonna have to go through this very heavily fortified uh, barrier. Now it goes down. Nogo does spot someone and exchange a game fire. Vicky does take a couple of hits. And that was close. He should have taken some hits there. And the Legion Trap comes out. But Nogo's like, forget that. I'm going to go for the frag. And Rez is knocking on Death's door. I don't know if he's going to get revived. He's going to try to get away, but... I don't think anyone can get to him. Nago actually falls to Wolfmaster. So this is going to turn into a 3v3. Now it's going to turn into a 2v3. No, never mind. Uh, Rez was able to get Rezzed. But then again, Reaper was able to get the frag onto uh, Bulldo. So it's just Rico and Rez that's all that's left. The diffuser has been dropped, but uh, Rico will pick it up. Rez is going to have to try to spot someone out because it's going to be really difficult to plant the diffuser at this point. And everyone in chat's like, duh, of course it's going to be difficult. 30 seconds left. Rez is just pretty much one shot from dead. Device is going dark. And there's the Legion Trap. So that doesn't help. And there goes Rez, so Rico's the only one that's left. 15 seconds to go. So Rico, you're going to have to move. To you only got 8 seconds left. Five seconds remaining. And the round will go to Drexel, so we do have a game Operate here, ladies and gentlemen. Because it is four to uh, five to four, Marietta's favorite, but uh, so far Marietta has been tr having trouble with playing on offense. They got the first round while on offense, but since then it's been all Drexel. So now, ooh, this is interesting. So we got Capital out, we got the Buck, we got Mira. Mira was not banned. So now we'll see if Marietta gets punished for this. Because you know, having that mirror, that one-sided mirror can definitely make a difference. Let's just take a look at what Mira, Mira does. I, I want to just look here. that mirror yet. I mean, we see where... Well, actually, there is one right there. Never mind. We've got a couple of those. You gonna try to put two down? Alright, so let's take a look at what's going on, on Marietta's side of things. See Rez kind of working his way up over by the patio. At least it looks like a patio. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called. We do see that wall. We're gonna see uh Rez and Boba is gonna try to breach. Lights out! 
So there goes the MP grenade. Loading door. Time to make a new door. And they do get the breach. Now they're drone it, and yep, there's someone. I don't think he caught the drone there. I don't think so. Fiery Combat does get the frag onto Bullet, though. I mean, he does kind of have that nice little wall there, so he can spot on anyone he wants. But now Mira goes down, so it is a 4v4. Attackers have located a bomb. Meanwhile, Marietta is going to be looking for a chance. They are having trouble breaching that. That glass door is definitely giving them the vision that giving uh I'm sorry when I mean they I mean directs the vision that they need to spot out where Marietta is. But they have they're having trouble trying to work their way in. Meanwhile, Reds is just wait. He was waiting, but he did not pull the trigger fast enough. But Nugo does get the frag onto Picky, so it is a 3v3, but Nugo does take some damage in the process. But now Marion has less than 45 seconds, so they're going to have to work their way in. But to be fair, Shadow Monarch is down a little bit too. Although Wolfmaster does get the frag onto Boba Flex. So it's just Nugo and Rico left for Marietta. Now they don't have a lot of time left, but Nugo does get a, a frag onto Wolfmaster, so it's a 2v2, 17 seconds left. And I don't think either of them will end the defuser, so they're gonna have to find the rest. Legion trap goes off, and Nugo's like, forget that. He does get a double ki uh, kill right there. Nugo pulling a Rambo, he's like, forget the double Legion trap. I'm just gonna take out the rest of Drexel. That right there, folks, might be play of the game. If there was a play of the game option in this one. So there you have it. We are at match point for game one. Uh, so let's see what Marietta decides to go with. But yeah, impressive gameplay there by Nago. So we do see Rico going to be going with the IQ. I mean, there were quite a few lesion traps last. Oh no, no! Going to bring back Capital. He's going to be like, sure, let's do that. And this time there is no Mira. Uh, Fiery Combat decides to go with the uh, Jaeger instead. Well, I mean, we are down here, so I guess it makes sense. You don't really need Mira for this one. Once again, if Marietta takes this game, or takes this round, they will take that one. So here we go. The round has begun. Wrong button. There we go. Let's see how where it is going to start. It looks like they are kind of split on how they're going to work their way in. Reshot ready. But I don't think they know that it is down by Birch Arsenal. Although they probably suspect at this point. Reloading. Just kind of working their way around. Trying to figure out the best way to infiltrate. I think. Check to see if anyone's by. 
Nugga's gonna be looking over, he's not gonna see anyone, so okay, this might be a safe space to go in. Go check, is there anyone below him? Well, there is technically someone below him. I'm trying to figure out who that is, and that would be Reaper. And Fiery Combat already gets the frag onto Rico. So not a good start there for the Pioneers. He's not going to spot anyone else. See Bulldog and Nogo kind of hanging together. They're looking to breach the uh, the hatch there. And actually, Fiery Combat gets another frag, this time on Rez. Reload. He's had a pretty good round so far. He's going to try to see if he can catch anyone else, and he might. I think he suspects someone's there. He's gonna get a third, a triple kill. And Nuggo goes down by Reaper, so Boba's the only one that's left. So I think at this point, it's gonna be safe to say that uh, Drex is probably gonna take this round. Bobo's gonna have to talk about the trap. He does get a frag onto Wolfmaster, but he is just like one hit away. I think if he just triggers another Legion trap, he's dead. Okay, maybe not. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, I just don't think there's much he can do. Yeah, they were just waiting for him. But Drexel's not done yet. So we are at round 12. We may get into an overtime. If Drexel takes this round, we're in overtime. So this will be the uh, DCTV cash. No, never mind. They are going to go with the gym bedroom this time. And they are going to bring out the Mira. So that should give the uh, the signal to Marietta that they are going to go for gym bedroom. What's very interesting is that Nuggo is going to go with Jackal this time. Attackers need to locate and defuse. I and mean, they must suspect. I mean, to be fair, uh, Fiery Combat does like to roam a lot, so I can't say I'm really that surprised that he might uh, go with the Jackal. Yeah, th that last round, Fiery Combat had a, a really good game there. Meredith cannot afford to have to let Fiery Combat have another good game like that. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to go. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. Here we go. Let's see what Marietta does. If Marietta takes this round, they do take map one. Otherwise, we will go into overtime. working their way around although they're at the wrong wall they should know that everything's going over by the gym and bedroom they I 
do hear some gunfire, but I think that was just to find an opening. They're gonna throw the EMP grenade, interesting. And we do see Bandit able to get that one. But now Bobo looks like he's gonna try to use his last charge. Or take it back. And they should get it. There it is. And Boba getting the frag onto Picky. But Marion has just a little over a minute to work their way in. And you have to expect. Well, they do see some gunfire. You know, Boba was looking for an opening in that same wall. So is Nogo going to be looking to try for a flank for behind or not? But he's hanging by too. Arian only has well, just about 40 seconds left. So they're going to have to work their way in. If they're all trying to go through that same opening, they're not going to have a whole lot of luck. And someone was expecting him. I don't think he was able to... Yeah, Nuggo is going to go down. He went in, but there was one right there, and he didn't check. And three for Marion have already fallen, so all that's left is Rico and Boba. So this has been a disaster for Marietta. There's only 10 seconds. Boba's going to try to get his frag. He gets one. He's got to get the other two. He's only had just a couple seconds left, and he gets, he gets exploded. Operators, you have run out of time. So with that, Drexel does take the round. But folks, we're in overtime. So sides are random, but it looks like the Marietta will start on offense and Drexel will be on uh, defense again. So we're going to see similar compositions and we are going to see uh, the bomb being set over by Church Arsenal. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. So we are underway. cameras left and right. Oh, 
we do see IQ spawning out quite a few traps. Just kind of holding. But with that said, Nugo does get the frag onto Shadow Monarch. But Bulldo does go down, but Nugo is able to get the frag onto uh, Fiery Combat, so it is a one for one trade. Marius still has the one uh, person advantage, but Nugo has taken a lot of damage. But Marina only has 30 seconds left, so they have to work their way in. Boba's gonna go down, and so does Nugo, so now there's only two left for Marietta, unless Boba's able to get Rez. And Rez is gonna go down. So now it's gonna be just Rico that remains. 15 seconds left. And with that, uh, Drexel does take the next round. So now the rolls will swat. Um, if Drexel takes this round, they will take the uh, the game. Otherwise, we I think it goes to one more like sudden death final round so we'll see what adjustments Merida can make Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Alright, so here we go. Marietta needs to take this round if they are going to at least get to a sudden death round. Otherwise, otherwise they'll go to uh, Drexel. So they are working their way in. And explosions are just going left and right all over the place. The Bobo is going to try to see if he can catch anyone. Special charge. Stay clear. Here we Rico's go. checking. Back. Not going to see anything. Bomb located by attackers. Drexel brings in the drone. He's going to spawn out one person. Throws out the nitro. I don't think it's necessarily Attackers gonna catch him. Located a bomb. Bro, 
Ricky trying to look for anyone, not gonna spot. There are shots in the fire, but nothing really connecting here. Rika does suspect one person over by there, and he would be correct. And Rez does get the frag onto Wolfmaster. And Fiery Combat goes down by Bulldo, but uh, Reaper gets the retaliatory kill. So right now it is 4v2, 35 seconds left. Maria does have the advantage. Picking Reaper will have to work their way in, but they only got about 20 seconds left. And he's going to catch Nago. But he's going to fall, and Marietta does take the round. We're not done yet, folks. So here we are, overtime match point. And it looks like Marietta will be selected to attack. And Drexel will be defending, so Marietta has to win this if they're going to take the round. Otherwise, it will go to Drexel. So it all comes down to this. And this is just game one, folks. We may still have two more games to go. Here we go. Looks like Marion is going to bring out the Nomad this time. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. And we will be at the gym and bedroom. So here we go. The round begins. Marietta has to take this. CCTV, but uh, no one's there. I don't think they know that. And Wolfmaster is already down. Rez gets the frag. Exactly what Marietta needs. Decent trap goes off, but not too much of a concern. Maybe safety with numbers to see if they can catch anyone. Except Nuggo, who's kind of flanking from the side. 
And Rez is gonna get a frag. And actually gets a triple kill so far. It's been all Rez. So all that's left is Fiery Combat and Picky. They still have one minute to go. But I would not underestimate Fiery Combat though. He has done very well this game. But he goes down, so there's only one left. Picky's the only person remaining to keep Drexel alive in this game. Nuggo is going to start planning the Diffuser. And there you have it, folks. When Marietta has struggled all game with playing on attack and gets to the very last round, Marietta does it with a flawless round. Very impressive for the Pioneers. All right, so Marietta does take game one. And I hit the wrong button. Well, you know, that works. Let me just make sure I hit the right button again because that was definitely not the right. There we go. All right. So I think uh, everyone's going to just take a small breather. So we'll give everyone a chance to. I mean, that, that was a long game. It was, it was like over an hour. Yeah, that was over an hour. So I think everyone's going to uh, get up, probably use the restroom real quick. Uh, so. With that said, we'll probably just take a small breather here. And actually, while that's going on, I better make sure I have everything with the map uh, set up. I'll go ahead and, and do that. So we are going to be on bank next. Go back here. Actually, we'll just check to see if everyone is taking a break or not. So I'm just checking here to see if we're taking a small break or... I'm not hearing back from anyone, so I have a feeling that that everyone's away. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to step away for just a minute, and once I hear that people were back, we will get things going. So Maria took game one as the best of three, uh, so don't go away. We'll be back in just a minute or two.
Okay, we're ready. All right. We're good. we're good as well. All right, everyone's saying they're ready, so here right, for the cool. mics. So let me get things started up for everyone. Second here, pushing the button and getting. I think I got everything set up right. So here we are. Game two. So this is going to be uh, bank. Uh, Marion will be defending and Drexel will be attacking. And Marietta will go with the Jackal ban. I think they saw the fiery combat used it quite a few times in the last game. Uh, so they decided, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna see it this time. Uh, then we're gonna see the capital being banned. And of course, we're going to see the Kaid ban again. I guess I'm still a little... This one is a little interesting with it. Um, I mean, I don't really expect that kind of wall count and mouse game that we saw with like a bandit and the Thermite and the Thatcher uh, with Clubhouse. So it's still interesting that Kaid is being banned, but... Okay, and we're going to see an Echo ban. I mean, we, we should see an Echo ban, right? Right. So Mira's still up. So since Mirror is up, we do see Rico selecting that. So this can get very interesting. Oh no, never mind. He decided to go with the Mira. I, I want to see more Mira. You don't, you don't see her that often because she's usually banned all the time. But hey, we may be getting an Ash from uh, Drexel. Looks like. Oh oh oh. Rico, bringing back the Mira. I don't know, maybe he heard me something. I have no idea. I mean, I'm in the R6 Discord channel, so how can he hear me? And the, the stream's on the three minute delay, so it's not like you hear anything I'm saying right now. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs. Okay. As they can. Let's see what we got here. So we're. Okay, here we go. I remember this spot. So the question is, which way will Drexel try to come in? Are they gonna go through the sewers? Are they gonna go through the garage? Or are they gonna work their way top and come, just come down floor by floor? We'll have to see. Right, now I'm gonna take a look at how Rico is setting things up. He already got his uh, little Glass window, his window set up. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Barricade set. Ambush set. Stay clear. A pretty nice spot there, actually, in both places. That's a really good spot. Just to be able to point out anyone's trying to uh, check out the uh, bomb site. So let's see what Drexel is going to be doing. So it looks like they're already in. So they decide not to go with the garage or the um, the sewer. So it looks like they're just going to work their way up. And... But yeah, three from Drexel are already in. But we may be seeing something here. Oh. I'm gonna pull out the drone and see if he spots anyone. And there is the wire. 
But meanwhile, Nuggo is kind of hanging over by the stairs. And he just gets one-shotted. So that's going to give Drux of the green light to move their way in. Most of the Drux was kind of hovering around and they may be working their way towards the stairs. And Reaper is able to take out Rez. Reaper's trying to see if he can spot on anyone else. Don't think he's going to find anything, although Fiery Combat has taken some damage to bomb up here to buy a dagger. Oh, right and the Thermite Charge does go off. And Reaper is able to get another frag, this time on the Bulba Flex. So Rico and Bulldo are the only ones left. Dango located. Benjamin. And Picky will put down the diffuser. And I think he's gonna get this down without too much Attackers trouble. Are activating the diffuser. Swap it, Mike. So Bodo does go down, and Rico's the only one that's left up. So there's not a whole lot that can be done. 20 seconds remains. They are trying to close in on him. Eyes on hostiles. Basement. Hostiles. Basement. Yeah, not much that Rico's going to be able to do when everyone from Drexel's up. An impressive round. I should mention that during the map picks and bans, when uh, Bank was picked, Drexel chose to attack. And we might see why. They seem to have a really good offensive strategy for this. Looks like Res may be going with the Vigil. Interesting choice. We have not seen a Vigil uh, yet today. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Alright, so we are underway. And it looks like okay. Okay, Wolf Master will be repelling up. You see Picky just trying to get some openings with some of the walls. Probably gonna be working his way up to the second floor. But it seems like most of Marietta is staying. Well, we do see one nearby. Yeah, so we do see Vigil trying to pick up. And he does catch one, but does fall to the other. So it is a one-for-one one trade. Although Reaper does take a lot of damage from that. So that is still a very favorable trade. Fire 
hybrid combat is going to be trying to get some info. Shots are being fired. Boba has taken some damage. Flashbang Coast come out. But Nuggo with the frag onto Shadow Monarch. Although Fiery Combat does finish off Boba Flex, so it is still a 3v3. Nuggo's going to try to see if he can spot anyone else. He's not going to find it. Well, he, never mind. He's going to spot one. He knows they're by. But he's going to fall to the Capital. Actually, no, that was not Capital. Why, why? There's no Capital here. What am I thinking? Yeah, that was a Maverick. It looked like a Maverick. He's got the little hat thing. Now, Drexel still has a minute left, so they are going to work their way in. And Fire Combat has taken some damage as well. So, even though it's a 3v2, it's not over just yet. Bull is kind of hanging around. And Rico is still going to be just keep an eye on the bomb site and try to see if he spots anyone. And he has to know that there's... He does spot someone. Reloading. And they are... They are putting down the... They're going to start throwing out the nitro. And at least stop the progress. And Rico is trying to get his shot, but he's not able to get the target. So the diffuser does get planted. And Bulldo is taking his time looking around, but he's going to have to move if he's going to finish it off the rest of Drexel and defuse the diffuser. I guess it's the term is disable it. And Rico will fall, so Bulldo is... Well, Bulldo fell at the same time, so Drexel does take round two. I'm not so sure if the Mira pick is as effective as... Um, as we had hoped. Because, I mean, yeah, they're spawning out when they're planning, but they're not able to utilize the uh, the window to actually finish off anyone as they're trying to plant. So, if it were up to me, I, I would say maybe go with something besides Mira, because it I don't think it's working as intended. It looks like he is going to pick the mute this time. So we do get our picks. Looks like we're going to see a castle and dock coming out as well. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Samaria will try a different spot this time. Attackers have located a bomb. See Drexel working their way. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. The picky's Bomb working a, a way in. Let's see if he catches anyone. Oh, no. And actually, Bulldo does get a frag onto Reaper. And it looks like uh, Picky knows that there is someone over there. And I think that's going to give Picky the signal that he is uh, 
something over here. <clears throat> so Mildo will be working his way back. And actually, several Nuggles already got a frag onto Pinky. And several from Drexel are very low. But I think that was part of the Jaeger grenades that made a difference. Although Wolfmaster does get the frag onto Nuggo, so it is a 4v3. Rez is just kind of peeking around. Shots are being fired, but nothing connects. Trying to throw out all sorts of grenades to see if he catches anyone. But Bulldo does get the frag onto Wolfmaster. However, tries to get Rez down, but Rez was able to hold off and finish off. So Shadow Monarch is the only one that's left for, for Draxel. Less than 40 seconds remaining. So this is going to be a very difficult maneuver for Shadow Monarch, but he's going to rotate around. And he actually does get a frag onto Rico. Attackers recovered the diffuser. So he's going to try to plant. 15 seconds remaining. And he's going to start planning. 10 seconds remaining. Although he does get interrupted and Marietta does take the round. So great job there by Rez to catch it. But Marietta is now on the board. I say I think Nuggo's been having a, a pretty good series so far. I mean, he was the MVP in the the last game, and we're seeing there some of those early frags, and then Rez there uh, finished off two himself, and of course got well actually no, uh, Bulldo got two frags. My mistake. So gotta give some credit there to Bulldo for uh, two of the frags, and then Rez getting the finish. So great job there. Uh, looks like we are going to see. Oh. Am I? Now, if I remember correctly, in case there's any questions, that is legal. The uh, uh, several weeks ago, the attack. brand new ops were not allowed. However, uh, like a week or so ago, uh, Legion R6 did say that those these ops are now allowed. So Cali and. Uh, well, am I? Can you say you pronounce it? No, no. I'm sorry. They're brand new ops. I don't even know what they do. But uh, they are allowed now. So we're going to see how this plays a role. And once again, Riku's going to go with the Mira. I'm not so sure about this. I don't think it's been as effective as you would like. Sure, you can see that they're going to plant here. But question is what do we do about it? Maybe Nuggo's got a, an interesting strategy with uh, with this new op. Meanwhile, we do see fire combat getting some info. Going to spout the clash. He's gonna work his way in. And he is gonna get shocked a little bit. And it's taking a little bit of damage here. And not really doing a whole lot to clash. And he's gonna actually fall. Nuggo with the the frag there. So a great distraction by Rez with the clash. I know he likes to play Monty a lot. 
I don't know. I think maybe Clash might be a more effective Monty, but that's just my opinion. And we're seeing Boba getting a frag. Actually getting two. Although it's a trade back and forth, and uh, Drexel was able to even it up. So it's now two to two. Because Rez and Nuggo does fall. So it's Bulldo and Rico versus Picky and Shadow Monarch. is going to be looking around but Rico is just going to hang by the, the bomb site and I don't know if this is a great move because the fact that he just stays there means it's basically a 4v5 most of the time so Rico knows that they're there so they are going to start planning the diffuser Attackers so there we go bomb. So Bulldo needs to start working his way in because Rico's not really doing anything. He just kind of sees that they're there. And Bulldo goes down, so Rico's the only one that's left. Now Rico is going to have to work his way in, but if he just stays behind, he's not. He's basically going to concede the round. Defenders have located the diffuser. Rico is trying to get to the. I don't think he has enough time because, yeah, he's just taking too long to try to, to get anything. Attackers win. So with that, the uh, the round will go to Drexel. Okay, they Marion needs to try a different uh, place because that that site is not working for them. Or if they do pick a site, I just I'm still gonna critique that Mira. Like Mira is good. But if you're if Mira isn't being I don't think Mira is being utilized the way she should be. Alright, so it looks like they're gonna go with Television Office and Archives. We do see a couple of swaps here. We see Doc coming out, Zofia coming out for for Drexel. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. And we see, we see a sledge. There's a sledge. I don't think we've seen a sledge all series, but here we go. We got our sledge. Fire combat's up top, looking around, trying to see if anyone's there. Not going to spot anyone. He's going to spot someone, but he's going to go down. Nuggo there with the frag. But Nuggo's going to go down too, so it's a 4v4 now. Wolfmaster getting the frag onto Nuggo. A 
Perez is just keeping an eye on the bomb sides of the camera. Rico is just going to be hanging tight. Meanwhile, Boba does get a frag onto Wolfmaster, so it is a 4v3. He's going to kind of prone to see if he catches anyone. Oh, I thought they would have run by, but no, he's not going to see anyone just yet. The drone, will, he will get caught with the drone. And Boba will fall. So it's now a 3v3, Shadow Monarch with the frag there. So Bodo does get a frag onto fiery combat. While wow, I was looking at the drone. My bad. Drexel does have about 26 seconds left. And Picky does go down, so Shadow Monarch is the only one that's left. Rez getting the frag there. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Shadow Mark does left. get the diffuser, but he only has about 10 seconds to make his move. He's going to try to catch seconds. someone, but he's going to go down, and Marietta takes the round. Alright, we are at round six. After this, the roles swap. And here's the thing, I mean, Drexel has done overall pretty well on offense. So, Marietta needs to get this round to even it up. Because it seems like they still struggle with offense. So if they can at least even it out and maybe try to get a couple rounds on offense, they may be able to take the series. But if they give Drexel the the lead going into the the side swap that may be enough for them to take the the game and then we'll go to game three so we do see Rico bring out the rook this time and we're seeing castle smoke Nogo does like smoke um, I have seen him play that quite a few times Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Oops. Take some trauma plates. Barricade up! Ambush it. Stay clear. Right. Alright, so they're just getting things here. Alright, here we go. Round six has begun. So we see Fire Combat trying to get something. He was trying to punish uh, Bulldo. Bulldo takes a lot of damage looking to spawn peak. He's trying to spawn him out. He use his camera to see if he can catch anyone. He knows that Boldo is there. He's trying to, to get that early frag. I think he knows he's kind of over by that couch, coffee table, whatever it is. I can't tell. Loading you back. And Boldo does get away, but he is less than a quarter of a health. Probably about, about 15 health, I would say. You check. Uh, I can't tell from here, but it's not good, that's for sure. Thank goodness for the armor. He probably would have been dead if it weren't for uh, 
the armor. So good job, Rico, with the armor. Meanwhile, a lot of grenades are being thrown out. Breach comes out. Res has already fallen, but Bulldo does get a retaliatory frag onto Wolfmaster. Actually, Bulldo gets two before he goes down, so it is a 3v3. So now we'll see what Drexel does next. They did breach the, the one wall. Rico's just going to be waiting there to see. And there's someone repelling there, and he doesn't... Well, now he knows there's someone there. The fiery combat is just able to finish him off, so it is now a 2v3. Fiery combat still gets Bulba down. He's not dead yet, but he will be soon. So Nago's the only one that's left. And Nago's gonna fall, so with that, the round does go to Drexel. So now the roles will swap, and it's kind of similar to last game, except it's swapped. So I think, yeah, I think Marietta was like 4-2 or something uh, going to here, and now we see Drexel uh, starting at 4-2. But once again, if from the last game, Marietta struggled with offense. So we'll see if they can put together a good offensive plan because they got a ways to go if they want to take this map and take the series. Very interesting choice with Shadow Monarch going with Alibi. And Fiery Combat will bring out the, uh, Mira. But listen, he might be trying to show Rico how Mira's done. But they will be on the basement. But Marietta has to suspect that's where the, uh, the bomb's gonna be. Bombs from being defused by attackers. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Located a bomb. Ten seconds left. Yes, up and running. Five seconds left. So all the defenses are being set up. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Here we go. I want to see how's Marietta start this. There's four starting in one place. Drill now. So it looks like they're realizing that sewer strats probably not the best route. Uh, they're working their way in. Actually, oh, looks like Bulba's gonna go through the garage. We really don't see people go this route as much anymore. I can see if anyone's there. I don't think, well, there's no one there, so of course he's not gonna find anyone. He's working his way in. Shots are being fired. Bulldo may have found someone. And he does! But just not able to connect. Reaper getting the frag on him. Was, oh, wait, it was an alibi. That's what it was. He was shooting the alibi. Yeah, that'll do it. Well, we do see Wolfmaster taking quite a bit of damage himself. And Rico's gonna fall too. The Reaper there with a double. Reloading. Yeah, the Reaper with a double kill, but he's gonna go down. So that kind of evens it. I mean, it's the three v four, so still having still behind a little bit. But we'll see if they can work their way. That was gonna drone. They can see kind of thing. Rez is droning. Bob is droning. They're all droning. 
to okay. Shadow Monarch, trying to up top looking for anyone. Not gonna catch anyone. Wolfmaster's is hanging by. Vicky's got the camera going. Meanwhile, fiery combat is hanging back. Although Nogo does get the frag onto Shadow Monarch, so it is a 3v3. But now they only have about 40 seconds, so they're gonna have to work their way in. Throw all the flash grenades. I think he does suspect someone's there. Fiery combat actually does get both points down. Laser trap does go off. And a lot of chaos going. Rez does get the frag onto Wolf Master. It's a 2v2. 10 seconds remains. Nogo's gonna, gonna have to start planting, but he's gonna go down and Drexel will take it. Now Drexel is up five to two. Marina has their work cut out. Otherwise, uh, we will go to a game three. Looks like Rez is going to be bringing out the Blackbeard this time, and Nugga's going to go with Ash. This is interesting. So it looks like they're trying to deal with kind of those 1v1 fights. I mean, Blackbeard with the shield, you really don't want to go up against. Nugga may be trying to go for that ranged breach. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by I like Ash, but you just don't see her that often, that's all. Begun. You see, Rez just kind of taking his good old time. He, I mean, he's got the shield up, so he's looking for any potential spawn peekers. Not going to catch anything. Bulldoze working his way in. There's someone on the other side here. He sees it. Bomb located by attackers. And fiery combat has already got res down. So that's not a good start for Marietta. Is gonna be looking around. You'll see Bulldo, but we look to try to catch anyone. He will take some damage, not a whole lot, but he knows that someone's inside. Ash to try to draw some attention, looks like. And 
does take some hits, and he's extremely low in health now. Loading mag. Meanwhile, Rico gets the frag onto Reaper. So it is now 4v4, although Rico is and he is so low in health. So low. Bulldog knows that there's something. Okay, that was an interesting thing. And Bulldo is going to fall. Fiery combat there with the double kill so far in this game. 25 seconds remains and Marietta is going to be struggling. Although Wolfmaster does fall. Attackers drop the diffuser. But Nuggetoff goes down, but Bobaflex starts to press into 2v2, so it's all that's left is no one. The Drexel does take the round, and with that, I believe there's only one round left for them. If they take it, then we're going to go to a game three. Marietta has to make a goal line stand. But then again, it just means we have more, more Rainbow Six and more of my horrendous commentating. So thank you for all those who are watching and checking this out. Uh, I do hope you're having a great time. We are doing everything we can to try to show our matches for you. And as I said earlier in the broadcast, this is very most likely our last match for the season. Um, for all of our other teams, their seasons have basically wrapped up or uh, were ended prematurely due to the, the whole COVID-19 uh, situation. Uh, so but we'll try to broadcast more things as we can. We're going to see Riku come out with the Lion this time. Interesting Attack choice. He has played that quite a few times. As many bombs as they can. And we're also going to see the Hibana from Bobaflex. There's some very interesting choices here for what could be the last round in this map. was used early on to catch any potential spawn peekers and I think they're gonna find that there is no one trying to spawn peek well I could be wrong with that oh John Mark uh, was looking around a little bit but he's gonna fall back gotta put out some decoys catches the drone Shots are being fired. And there is someone there. At least there was someone there. I think everyone's rotated out though. This is looking for someone. Well, Nuggo has worked his way in, so he's to try to catch anyone. He's going to see the gunfire, so he knows that someone's inside. He tries to look great to see if that catches anyone. And it does! With the frag grenade! Although, careful, don't get overconfident there, Nuggo. You almost went down. You can't die while I'm praising you. Shadow Monarch is going to hang by the bomb site. Fiery Combat is going to be looking around. I think he suspects that Mary will come around, but he's going to rotate. Now Rez is in the upper floor. Going to try to see if he catches anyone. He's going to see the alibi drone, but he's going to take some damage and actually go down. 
Pirate Combat gets him down, but Nuggo is able to get revenge. So it is 4v3. The line comes up, but Nuggo's gonna fall in the process. It's now a 3v3. 3v2. Bulldo does get a frag to Reaper in the process. He's gonna see the alibi clinic. He's like, you ain't got no alibi. And just walk away. Meanwhile, Boba is gonna be rotating around. And he does catch Picky. But only one person left. But they only got 10 seconds. They still got to plant the diffuser or find that last person. Where's Rico? Five seconds remaining. He is planning. And Bulldo does get the last frag. So, we're not done just yet with this map. Alright, folks. Do you believe? Do you believe in the power of an epic comeback? Marietta has to win at least three more just to get to overtime. Can they do it? We're going to find out. So now we're going to see, well, okay, I thought we were going to see the Goya, but we're going to see Maestro instead. Mira comes back out, so that should signal uh, that the ball is going to be placed in the basement. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Just begun. Marietta has to take this to stay alive, otherwise, we will go to a game three. Already see Marietta trying to infiltrate very quickly, but they may be playing a more aggressive play style, which is something be quite refreshing actually because we really don't see that kind of aggressive uh, play style. Will come out, shots are being fired. There's a change going on with Rez and someone. Nogo will rotate around. And he does catch the Reaper. But Bulldo is going to fall. At least I don't think he's going to get Rezzed. Well, speaking of Rez, he does take out Wolfmaster. And actually, Bulldo does get Rezzed. Right Aisha's gonna be looking around. He is gonna spot. Sorry, but although, Rez getting the double kill so far. And just like, you know what? We'll take that out. So there's only two left for. Uh, Drexel. The fiery combat may be trying to work, work his way around. Loading Although he does get Rico. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Nogo will be playing. It's, it's basically the bomb same. By attackers. Attackers dropped basically the, the same uh, thing that's happened with the, recovered the diffuser. With Drexel being on offense. Nogo is going to start putting stuff. The Nitro does come out. But we do see Fiery come down. 
Rez was like, you know, I'm just gonna come around and take you out. But now Rez goes down, so it's gonna be up to Pinky to try to finish it. The diffuser has been planted. So it is 3v1. So can Pinky take this for the team? He's gonna try. But by taking him away, it's actually eating the clock. But he does get Boba. So Nuggo and Bolt are the only ones left, but less than 20 seconds remains. So Picky's gonna have to work his way in. 10 seconds remains. He's gonna start making his move. Five seconds. And there you have it, Marietta still keeping this game going, Bolo, with the uh, killing blow there. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask, do you believe in the epic comeback? It is now 4-6. to six. Once again, Marietta has now taken these two rounds in a row to get us into overtime. And are we gonna see an Ela? Maybe we're seeing. Ooh, we're, we're seeing. Oh, never mind. He's gonna go back to Alibi. We're seeing the Goyo, maybe Thatcher, Twitch. Seeing some new, new ops coming out. Oh, we're not gonna see the Goyo. We're gonna see Valkyrie again. That's okay. So it would be really interesting if we actually got a match where all the ops were used at some point. But then that would mean that Warden would have to be used, and who, who plays Warden, right? Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Alright, so once again, it is still match point. If Drexel takes this round, then they will take the game and we will have to go to map 3. But Marietta has won the last two, so the momentum is in their favor. But still, the momentum can swing at any moment. An early kill, a uh, great play, could, could swing this game one way or the other. Ten seconds left before insertion. Deploying the base. Five seconds left before insertion. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Here we go. Still working the way around. Is going to be peeking around up top. Always uh, checking around. No one is not playing as aggressive of the style. Like, they are going to spot two alibi clones, and the Twitch is great for taking that out. Actually, wait, there's no Twitch there. What am I thinking? Although, Boba getting that early frag, Reaper is down. That's may give the opening that they need. Second floor. Meanwhile, Fiery Combat is by the bomb. He has to know that Marietta's working her way in, so he's going to try to catch someone by that door. But Marietta's going the other way around. We see the frag grenade coming out. I think Nuggo takes a little bit of damage. See you on the other side. We see Devon and Bulldo getting the frag onto Picky. That's not Bulldo. That's Bulldo. There we go. But he is going to go down. The Wolfmaster. I'm kind of surprised. Like I thought he was shooting right through him, but apparently not. Gonna throw up the canister. 
Gets a little bit of damage onto Rez, but not. Oh, at least I think that was Rez. Oh, oh Shadowmon does get the crack. So it's now 3v3. Between Nago, Boba, Rez versus Fiery Combat, Wolfmaster, and Shadowmon. 40 seconds remains. Marianna's gonna have to make a move. And Nago's gonna work his way in. Rez is not dead yet, but he probably will be soon. So we have to Boba. And Nugo actually gets the fragment by the faster. By attackers. But 20 seconds remains. So they're gonna have to find the other two real quickly because I don't think they have time to plant the diffuser. Located a bomb. 50 seconds remaining. And Nugo's gonna go down, 10 seconds remain, so Bobo's gonna have to move in. Byron combat goes down by Five Rez, so remaining. they just need to find the last person. And I don't think they're gonna find him. Instead, Bulba has got the diffuser down clutch. Can Rez hold? They planted the diffuser at the last second. So now Shadow Monarch has got to come in and try to take out two people, and he's less than half health. There is a claymore there, so he does take out Rez, but he falls. Oh my goodness! I can't believe that just happened. Like, I thought time was gonna run out. It's like, they gotta find someone. No, Boba had the, the diffuser and puts that down. I, I, I'd have to go back and check. Hopefully someone clipped that, but that had to be like the very single split second before the timer ran out. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, do you believe Do you believe in comebacks? Because we're seeing that right now. If Mariana takes this, we are in overtime. Oh my goodness. Well, here we go. We see Twitch back out again. Bonna, Thatcher. Battle Mark's not going to go with Doc this time. Maybe uh, using that to heal up people, I think. I think he's gonna go with the smoke, but they are gonna go down to the basement, so smoke is pretty effective, but I mean Marina Defenders knows it's gonna be the basement. Mira is there. By attackers. Changing oh, is gonna get the an info. Discovered the location of a bomb. They know exactly where that bomb is, so they know. Oh, they're gonna get around there. Reinforce the wall. Ten seconds left. Five seconds remaining. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. All right, here we go. Ready. Marina's starting to work their way in. Bulldoze looking for any potential spawn peaks, I think. Well, not really spawn peaks, but seeing if anyone's kind of roaming. But I don't think we're going to get that. Fiery Combat is usually the roamer, but. He's kind of playing the role of staying behind and checking out the bomb and finding things out. And Reaper actually gets a frag on the Bulldo, so this is not what Mariana needs to start. Although Reaper does take uh, some damage and is going to back off. The Reaper is waiting. He does see the drone. Loading thunder. So he knows that there is something there. Maybe looking to try to kill him off. He does try. Doesn't quite hit anyone. Meanwhile, you see Boba taking some shots at the foot.
Very careful there. He's gonna take a shot. Nugga does get Reaper down. Cover me! Reloading! And Boba and Shadow Monarch are definitely in a gunfight. Knows that Monarch retreated over to the stairs. Uh, I think he's gonna hope this home's there and he's not gonna find it. Wolfmaster is actually uh, down, so it's a 4v3. Legion Trap does go off, but Rez is not too concerned. Charge comes out. Meanwhile, Rico's just gonna keep an eye on things. But here's where Fiery Combat's probably gonna notice that the smoke comes out. The picky is with me. An interesting choice here to break down the wall here, so it's gonna be easier for them to try to aim. But Boba actually does end up getting Fiery Combat, and so does Picky, so there's only one left! Do you believe, people? Do you believe? Shadow Monarch does take Boba down, and he actually is gonna take Rez too. So it is a 2v1, the Diffuser has been planted. But Shadow is very low in health. But it's still not over yet. If he does take out Nuggo and Rico, we will go to a map three. But he's gonna start working his way to the diffuser. Nuggo is gonna be up top, just keeping an eye on things. Attackers need to protect and the diffuser. Rico is on the side. So he's gonna start trying to defuse. And he goes down! Ladies and gentlemen, we're tied. You believed, you believed in the possible comeback. In the first game, Mariana struggled with offense and they go four rounds in a row on offense and take each one. And now we're in overtime. My goodness! I have never seen this happen! Then again, I don't watch enough Rainbow Six. I mean, maybe this is something you guys see all the time. I, I don't know. But here we go. We're in overtime. Marina will be on offense. So let's see if they can take another round and gain the lead. It looks like Boba's gonna swap out to the Twitch again. That's been working pretty well for him. But with that mirror pick, it Attackers should signal that we're bomb. back in the basement. Shocked. I'm pleasantly shocked. I mean, I'm supposed to be a little biased here because I do want Marietta to win. But still, this is. Oh my goodness. I just have not seen this kind of play before. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Alright, we are underway. Hopefully Marietta can keep up the same momentum. Marietta's working the way around. A little bit of gunfire. Meanwhile, Bring out, bring out another mirror, so interesting. Actually, a different spot this time. Reaper's still gonna be checking that stairs. He does suspect that someone's gonna come by there. And Shadow Monarch does get the frag onto Boba. And Reaper does get Boba, although he's gonna go down, so it's a 3v4, but still in favor of Drexel. Gonna be looking around. Ready. 
We'll use the drone to try to figure out what's going on there, but not going to get a whole lot of information. Bomb located by attackers. Attackers bomb diffuser has been dropped. So, so gunfire air combat does actually take some damage and does get a uh, logo on death's door and res falls. So Rico's the only one that's left for Marietta. Uh, this round is not looking good. Although Rico's gonna try to get the res onto Nugga. Nugga's not down just yet. And he does get the res off, but they only have 35 seconds remaining. At this point, they're just going to have to go. Legion Trap does go off. He starts taking some damage, and he's going to fall. Once again, Rico is the only one that's left. Ten seconds, Ten seconds remains. He has to take out four. And I don't think that's going to happen. And Drexel does time. take the round. So they don't take the, the game just yet. Because we were in overtime. Now the roles will swap. Marietta has to take this in order to go to a final overtime. Otherwise, Drexel will take the the game and we'll go to a, a game three. So, once again, do you believe, folks? Do you believe that Mariana can make the comeback? The game on the line, can Mariana step up? They've been fighting so hard to come back into this game. Looks like all the ops are being locked in. Oh, Nugga's gonna swap to, looks like Jaeger, maybe? He is gonna swap to a Jaeger. Alright, so Marietta has to defend this. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Razor wire going up. Covered the location of a bomb. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds to insertion. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Here we go. So what will Rex will do? They're going to work their way up top. Will was going to try to check. Uh, you're not going to find anything. Rex was not wasting much time to work their way in. knows someone's in a flash grenade does come out and he does go down it's exactly what Marianne needs great frag there by Nuggo and Boba's gonna get a frag as well so there's only three left for for Drexel but Nuggo's gonna take some damage so he's gonna back away you know Rez is gonna keep an eye on Spots. Bulba's looking around. Drone active. He's going to see the drone. We 
Reaper's gonna keep an eye on the bomb site. And Boba does go down. Reaper does get the frag on him. So it is now 4v3. And he's gonna spot the Jaeger. And both are very low in health. I think whoever gets the next shot is gonna win. No, Rez is still keeping an eye out on the bomb site. Pluto's looking at the hatch, no one's there. I think he will rotate around, group up with Shadow Ball. Now he's gonna go down the stairs. Very low health. He's actually going to go down. So it's now 3v3. And Reaper is able to get Bulldoze. So there's only two left for Marietta. So Rico and Rez are going to have to step this up. Otherwise, we are going to go to a game three. And Rico does get the frag going to Reaper. So it's a 2v2. But Rez goes down. And Rico's the only one that's remaining. 15 seconds to go. Five seconds remains. Rico does get frag on the shadow. Attackers are activated. And Rico and and Pinky does get the diffuser planted. And with that, oh my goodness, Rico was just so close to finishing off. He just turned out a little bit more. He could have gotten the frag. But folks, with that. Drexel does take game two. So you know what this means, folks. We're not done yet. So now it is one game apiece. Oh my goodness. That was so close. Just right there. If you just turn on a little bit more. I don't think he knew that he was planting. If he knew he was planting, uh, definitely would have been able to. Oh, wow. All right, so. We've been doing this for almost three hours now. Well, just a little less than that. So we're tied up one game apiece. So we will go to a game three. So I think everyone's gonna step away for a second, take a breather. So we're going to step away and take a breather too. So you're watching Married to College Esports. Don't go away. Game three will be here in just a few minutes.
All right, welcome back. I think everyone is ready. Uh, let me double check the audio here to make sure everything is. Good on that go. one, Chief. All right, I think I'm hearing back. Good game, last game, boys. There, yep. everyone's just kind of giving some pats on the back here. You're hearing that because we have a series here, one to one game apiece. So we are just seconds away from starting up round three. So I'm gonna let them know we're gonna do that. So here we go. So let me get the overlay here set up for you. So this is Cafe. Marietta will be defending. And Drexel will be attacking again. Uh, Marietta was able to choose the side and technically choose the, uh, the map as well. So we'll see what bands come out. Will we get the same bands from before? Will we get uh, different bands? I mean, I would expect things like Echo to be banned or... So we are going to see Thatcher banned this time. We haven't seen Thatcher banned at all this series. Uh, he has been banned in several matches before. Looks like Drexel has made their quick uh, selection very quickly. So they're going to go with Capital again. They just do not want Capital. There must be something about Capital that they don't like. I, I don't know what it is. So we do see the Mirror Band this time. Very interesting. We have not seen Mirror Ban at all in the last two games. So will Marietta go with Echo? I would expect him to do Echo. Still debating it. Interesting. So what that tells me is they want to play Echo. They better use Echo if they're going to keep him. Otherwise, they could get punished later. There he is. About to say, if you're if you're not going to ban him, you be better pick him. Actually, no, Rez is going to go with Echo. No. Wait, no. Guys. Who's playing Echo? Someone needs to play Echo. No, no, Echo. Uh, are you serious? Um, hello? Okay. There. There he is. I was about to say. If you're not gonna ban him, you better use him. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Oops, too far. There we go. I'm still trying to get over the last game. But, all right, we are in game three. This is it. Whoever wins this game will take the series. I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but bomb located by attackers. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to insertion. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. All right, so we are underway. Wrong button. All right, so. All 
right, so we do see not a whole lot just yet. gunfire but not much going on just yet although uh wolfmaster does get res down Alright, so we're kind of looking around to see if we can catch anything. Drones have been used to find some information. And Fire Combat does get the frag onto Nuggo. He is going to spot Bulldo as well. Although Rico and Bob are able to get a couple of frags, so it does even up a little bit. Recovered the diffuser. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. And we do see that uh, well, quite a few have gone down. So all that's left is Rico versus Reaper. And Reaper was able to take down Rico. So Drexel will take round one. see a possible uh, I thought we we're gonna see a mozzie but I guess we're gonna see lesion instead but it looks like Nug was gonna be swapped into a clash instead so the echo didn't really help too much in that Attackers first need game to and the first bomb. round I should say So it looks like there's some weird lag issues going on with the stream. I'm not so sure why that's happening. So what I'm going to try to do, just for consistency purposes, um, I'm going to take down the stream for just one second after this round, and then I'll pull it back up, and hopefully that uh, fixes some of the issues. I'm not so sure why there's a, a lag issue. Hopefully that resolves the issue. I'm not sure so if it doesn't fix it. I don't have a good answer on why, because everything here is looking just fine. I'm not seeing any more dropped frames. There, there were a, a little bit earlier. But okay, so we do see uh, Drexel. Already catches Bulldo very early in the round, so that's going to give them the advantage that they are looking for. Deploy. 
team fiery combat trying to catch him. I don't think he's going to spawn anyone. I think he's going to be hanging back. Dalgo does spot someone, but Fiery Combat does get a double Attackers kill. And actually, the kills are going left and right all over the place. So three for Marietta are down at this point. Although, there, there was an explosion. The so Rez is going to get the frag, so it's now a 2v2. Well, now it's a 1v2. Attackers recovered the bomb user. A bomb has been located. So all that's left is Rico versus the two, but he's gonna fall. So Drexel will take round two. But alright, during this, um, I'm gonna take down the stream for just one second, bring it right back, and hopefully that fixes any uh, lag issues. If it doesn't, I apologize. Be right back in just one second. I'm still going to be talking because um, I'm going to be recording this and putting it on YouTube, but apparently taking down the, the stream while there's a three minute bomb. delay does not seem to fix the issue. Alright, so uh, this part will be on YouTube. Let's see if I can still try to get the stream back up. While we are commentating for the, uh, the YouTube. Five seconds to go. Precision device. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Uh, Alright, so we'll still talk about what's going on here. So Drexel is uh, working their way up. They are going up to the roof. Although Boba was able to get an early frag onto Picky, so that might help with uh, the stop. Okay, um, yeah, so still trying to adjust some things with the uh, the Twitch broadcast. I know no one on Twitch is going to hear this, but if you're watching on YouTube later on, then you can tell that for some reason we had some uh, latency issues for whatever reason. But anyway, uh, only one is still down for Drexel, so Bulldo is going to be looking around. Bobo's going to be trying to look, not going to catch anyone just yet. Nuggo's going to be checking. Everyone's just kind of taking their time. Not a very quick uh, offensive uh, approach here. We do see Reaper just kind of working his way to burn through the hatch. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. They still have just a little less than a minute to go. I think he does suspect someone there. Although Bulldo does get a frag onto Wolfmaster. Have located a bomb. And Nogo actually gets fiery combat down. 
Oh, the Reaper gets a, a frag on to res. I'm missing all these things that's going on here. Well, the Reaper does get a double kill. Rico does go down. So it's a 3v2 in favor of Marietta. 30 seconds to go. This fixes the lag issue. So here's what you've missed. It's a 1v1. Shadow Monarch has been able to plant the diffuser. So Boba Felix is the only one that's left for Marietta in this round. Besides Shadow Monarch. And Boba Felix does take out Shadow Monarch, but now he's got to get rid of the disarm of the uh, diffuser. But it looks like he's gonna be able to pull that off. So all you missed is Marietta's on the board now. Defender mission successful. Okay, uh, so we are at round four. Yeah, so just to kind of, I kind of remember the, the replay of what exactly happened in that game. It'll be on the YouTube channel later on. Uh, so we do upload all of our uh, matches onto YouTube. Unfortunately, I was recording this uh, onto my computer while streaming. So that round that was missed will be a part of the YouTube video in, in its entirety. In fact, you're gonna hear me panicking about the fact that, oh, you can't hear me on Twitch even though you're watching some YouTube, so it will be up on there. Um, <clears throat> but Boba got an early frag uh, onto Picky, which gave them an advantage, but then uh, Reaper was able to get a couple picks, Fiery was able to get a pick, so it turned out to a 1v1, and Boba was able to uh, finish it off even though Shadow Monarch was able to plant the diffuser. So that was round three in a nutshell. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. So now we're in round four. We do see the Echo coming back out, and this time Rico's gonna be using it, and Nago's gonna go with Mozzie. So an interesting choice there. So again, the defense is up. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. So here we go, round four. Let's see what's going to be going on here. It looks like they're all going to be repelling up to the roof again. catch people out but not hitting a, a whole lot of luck here bomb diffuser has been dropped. with that said Nuggo does get the frag onto picky Boba Flex gets one onto Wolfmaster So, Marina does ha still have the advantage, 5-3. to three. Although, we do see some gunshots being thrown over there. Canister comes out.
We do see that Bulba does get the frag in the fiery combat, so Shadow Monarch and Reaper are the only ones that are left for Drexel. And they're just struggling to find their way in. 50 seconds remains in the round. Just trying to catch anyone, but not going to have any luck. Planting toxins. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers dropped the diffuser. So Boba gets the frag on the Reaper, although Shadow Monarch was able to take him out, so... Shadow Monarch's the only one left, triggers the Legion Trap. Triggers the other Legion Trap. You don't know how much that stuff that hurts. Mark is able to actually take out Nago and put Rez on Death's door. But he will go down with the uh, explosion there by Bulldo. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, so with that, Marion does take the round, and we're tied up two games apiece. I do appreciate everyone's patience as we were trying to uh, fix the uh, lag issue. Hopefully that does fix it. I, I don't know if that, took, if that resolved the issue, but that's about the best I can do, just restarting it. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to try to do some tweaks and figure out why the uh, the lag gets worse the longer we stream. I'm glad to see in the chat that people are saying it is better. So uh, as long as this game does not go like three hours, we should be good. Defenders, protect your bombs from being but I will have to try attackers. to figure out. Um, to be fair, this is probably one of our longest broadcasts. I mean, we did have one a uh, long time ago where it went to three games for Rainbow Six, and I think we were playing until like close to midnight. Although we didn't start until a little bit later. Bomb located by attack. And that was on a different computer too, much better than the one I'm using right now. But anyway, round five, Marianne is getting their defenses set up here. Um, the one interesting selection with this is we're getting the Ela by Rez. I will be the first to admit, I'm not super familiar with her since she's one of the newer ops. So forgive me once again, as I mentioned before, I am a horrible player at this game. My knowledge is limited, so I'm just trying to call out frags and what's going on as best as my, as best as my ability. We do see three from uh, Drexel kind of going up into the top left side. It looks like they're going to be going that top hatch here. working their way and trying to see if they can spot where Marietta is so they don't just jump in and go oh I'm here and then they die while Rez is kind of checking out and does take out Picky that's exactly what Drexel does not want to have happen oh we see Rez taking quite a bit of damage there too his way in and if he's going to fall sets so another Attackers one down for Drexel so Bulldo gets the frag there and Rez gets a, a frag that's a double kill for him the so Bulldo does fall to fiery combat he does know someone's coming behind frag grenade comes out but he's just taking damage left and right he's knocking on death's door and he's dead so, a very impressive round there by Marietta on defense. So 
So with that, Marietta does take the uh, lead here. We are round six. In the next round, the roles will swap. So we are seeing the Echo again. The Wamai. What Wamai? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I apologize. Smoke and Bandit. Uh, so they will go on the first floor. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Bomb located by attackers. Alright, so Mary's getting their defenses up. Walls fortified. We see an electrified wall over there. We see electrified walls over here. And there's no thermite. So, uh, I'm sorry. There's a thermite. There's no Thatcher. My bad. So without a Thatcher, it's going to be really difficult to breach those walls. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. So here we go. The round has begun. It looks like Drexel's spawning in a variety of places and trying to use a divide and conquer approach. We see that Reaper's going to be repelling. Can you come to the top? Although there is some gunfire being done by Wolfmaster. He does spot. He does think there's someone over behind that fortified wall. We'll take out the camera. Our combat will move around and start working his way in. Takes out the trap. And sees that wall is electrified. Uh, Rez is still hanging over by the uh, the bomb site. Boba is peeking through. Over by the barbed wire. Well, it's not really barbed wire. Well, it's kind of. Like Attackers recovered the diffuser. No goes trying to check behind anyone. Not going to see anyone there. Yeah, it looks like Iron Combat is looking. Okay, so Reaper is going to try to break down this door using fire, but you know there, there's. Uh, there's someone kind of right behind, ready. Trying to take some shots. And they actually take down Boba. And Rez. So that did not work well for Marietta at all. A bomb is and he sees Rico. Rico had no chance at all. Uh, Re Reaper's having a little trouble trying to get through the, this hole. You, you, game mechanics 101 here. I mean, there's a big gaping hole, and you can't go through it. I mean, th this needs to be fixed. I mean, look at this. Keep, Reaper's trying to get through the hole, and he can't get through the hole. They, they still win the round, but I, I think just trying to get through this big gaping hole is uh, quite entertaining, actually. Yeah, who makes this game again? I, I gotta look this up now. I, I can't remember. Is it Ubisoft because it's Uplay? Okay, yeah. Ubisoft, you gotta fix that. Like, you should have been able to go through that hole. It's a big hole. Game design at its best, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we are round seven. Rolls have swapped. Marietta is on offense and Drexel's on defense. And we are tied three rounds apiece. It doesn't get any closer than this, folks. We're seeing Marietta bring out the Jackal, the Gridlock, the Blackbeard. All sorts of good stuff.
Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. of a bomb. Ten seconds left. Alright, so we see all the defenses being set up by Drexel. Five seconds to go. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. So if we're already at three rounds of peace. What do you think the odds are that we go into overtime again? Well, we've died for the first two games. And it's been definitely back and forth. We see Bulldo working his way in pretty quickly. Rez, Rico, and Bobo are not too far behind. Nuggo's going to be flanking around the side. Let's, let's see what Rez is doing. Actually, you know what? No, Bulba. He's Jackal. Let's go see. Let's watch Jackal. He's gonna be droning in. Oh. We're gonna break in. And Blackbeard comes out and he's already down. See, this this is what we call a teachable moment. Increasing our defenses. Defenses. Always drone before you drop in. Alright, so Bob is trying to track someone. He does get an eye on one person. But he is going to get the frag on Wolfmaster. But he is going to get exploded. We're seeing a lot of fire going out. Rez is already knocking the Red Sword. Nuggo's taking some damage. We see Shadow Monarch doing a lot of work. Fiery Combat's gonna route, and actually Shadow Monarch finishes off a large Nuggo. And Rez goes down, so there's only one left for Marietta. And Bulldo took a huge hit there. He's gonna fall, Drexel takes the round. Alright, so we're round eight, so Drexel is up one round. So we'll see if Maria can make any adjustments. I mean, that was just impressive gameplay there uh, by Drexel, although part of that was the fact uh, Rico went down pretty early, jumping in without droning. You, you can't do that. You gotta know where your enemies are, because if you just drop in, you could definitely fall. And we're already seeing some swaps. We're gonna see Maverick coming out, we're gonna see Goyo come out. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Bomb located by attackers. So we'll see Drexel get the uh, fences set up. Ten seconds left before insertion. Organize. 
Five seconds to go. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. We say we could bury a lion early on to catch any spawn peekers. And they do catch one person. Reloading. Kulo will be working his way in. Swapping max. Bubba's gonna work his way around. Nugget's got some information, so he's gonna start working his way in. Grenade out. Interesting throwing the drag grenades down there. You hear some gunfire. Time to ring some and Nuggo actually falls. What was that? was fiery combat. Going around the back and getting him down. Well, he takes a little bit of damage. Boba gets the frequent down in the meantime, but fiery gets another frag onto Rez. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Bubba's gonna try to work his way in, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky there. Down a couple people, and Bulldo is very low in health. And Bulldo actually goes down, so there's only two left for Marietta. And the mute's definitely not gonna help there. Alright, so let's see what's picky up to. Well, we see Boba was able to get a fragment of the shadow bomb in the meantime. I think he's going to be working his way around. Oh. He's going to actually catch Boba. So Rico's the only one left for Marietta. He's only got 40 seconds. He has to take out three for Drexel. Riku does not have much time. He has to start moving. Fifteen seconds remaining. Yeah, ten seconds. Ten seconds left. And Riku will fall, so the round will go to Drexel. Try one thing real quick with the uh, the game capture since I do see it is getting a little choppy. Uh, let's... Just do a quick swap here. Not going to see a huge difference, but I'm wondering if that is going to uh, do anything for us. We do see Jackal coming out again, Hibana, Sophia, Buck. And actually, Drexel's going to go with the Kaid. Interesting choices here. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. By attackers. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds to go. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. 
And so the round has begun. Drexel is up five to three. So all they need is two more rounds, and they will take the series. We'll see if Marietta can say otherwise. It looks like Bulldog's gonna be using Thermite this time. I haven't seen him play Thermite before. I mean, he usually will will go with other ops, but very interesting approach here. He's going to try to see if he can spot anyone. There is someone over there. Oh, I don't think he sees them. Oh, that's interesting. Let's just kind of check. If I see anything. See that uh, Shadow was able to get uh, one of Marietta's drones. So. Let's see if he can get some info for that. We do see some gunfire, and Nuggo does take down fiery combat. see someone above him and he had the high ground and he gets the frag so it's now five to three left in this round Place, trying to see if they can get Boba. Rez is going to take some damage, so he's going to rotate down. Nug is going to start planting the diffuser, but he's going to go down. But Boba does get a frag. A lot of people are going down. I'm losing track. Bulldog gets one. So I think he's the only one that's left for uh, Drexel. And Boba gets the killing blow, so Mario takes the round. So we're waiting for some help picks here. We're going to see Jackal and Lion this time. and defuse bombs. Four to five in favor of Drexel. We may be looking at another overtime. Bulldog will be uh, working his way up to the top. Bulldog is going to be doing the same thing. And we're already seeing Bulldog has fallen to Wolfmaster. 
this early in the round, you do not want to see that happen. Rico is trying to drone around, but that mute is going to be annoying. Everyone is kind of holding position. I think they know that most of Marriott is up top. We see Reaper just kind of waiting. He's not going to see anyone, even though there's like four pioneers right there. Monarch is just kind of chilling over here. Mary is going to have to find a way in somehow. Reload. And Rez left? Um, did he get disconnected? Okay, so. Okay, so the game is crashed. So we're going to make a note here, so I think we're going to have to do a re-host. Yeah, so... Yeah, they're confirming in the chat that the, uh, the game crashed. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a, a re-host. Alright, so let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get a screenshot of the uh, of that. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Fifteen seconds to go. Yeah, make sure I have everything here. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna have to do a rehost. So we're going to have to just um, give us a minute uh, for that. But are people going to be dropping the game or... Well, let's see if they still want the rehost. Okay, I guess they're going to... I guess they're gonna take it, all right? Huh. All right, well, Rez was able to get back in, so um, I guess instead of doing the rehost, the variant has decided that you're just gonna keep it. And it is match point for, um, it is match point for, yeah, all sorts of stuff has happened today. I mean, overtimes, crashes, yeah, so it is match point for Drexel. So hopefully there aren't any crashes, although Varita can Attackers still use a rehost if they wanted to. As many bombs as they can. Of course, the game would crash uh, during a. Uh, a very close and important match but I mean I just find it interesting they could have used the rehost but they decided not to 10 seconds left five seconds left before insertion attackers must locate and defuse a bomb but okay so Marina has to take the next two rounds if we want to go into overtime again. Otherwise, if Drexel takes this round, they take the game and the series. see Bulba already getting an early frag so this may be what Marion needs to get back into this series 
Nogo's gonna be working his way in, takes out a, a camera. Bodo is working his way around. Oba does take some damage. Bodo does fall, fiery combat getting the kill on there. And he's gonna be looking for more. There are a few nearby. just looking around but it is a 4v4 at this point ah! shots are being fired we might see something going on here and fiery combat does go down now go with the frag on that one so we're hearing more gunfire the res is looking and gets the frag onto wolfmaster there's only two left for Drexel. Grenade out. Bomb located by attackers. Attackers dropped. Nuggo goes through. down. Pinky with the frag there. And he's gonna be looking for I think that's Rez. And he's gonna get knocked down. And Marietta is able to get the finishing blows and they take the round. We're not over yet. All right, folks, I, I got this weird sense of deja vu. I don't know about you. If Marietta takes this, we go into overtime. How about that? I mean, it doesn't get much closer than this. I mean, first two games go into overtime. First one goes to an overtime match point. Like, final sudden death. Game two, we were just one round away from going to a sudden death match. And now we're one round away from going back into overtime. We see Marietta's bringing out the Jackal, Maverick, Havana, Zofia. Going on Thermite again. Oh my goodness, what time is it? It's, it's past midnight. Wow. Abused by attackers. Attackers have located a bomb. Whoa, I have to say, you guys are troopers who are watching right now. All the viewers, thank you for watching. It's been a very long and interesting match with all sorts of stuff going on. We have overtime. We have lag spikes. Had to restart the stream and hopefully it's still halfway decent. We've had crashes. We've had just about everything go on here. We had gaping holes that you should be able to jump through and you can't jump through them. So I hope that anything you've been entertained with tonight's match. So, Marion is on her way in. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong person. Look, well, this could be interesting. Bolo is right there, and there is someone right there waiting for him, knowing that someone's coming in. This could get interesting very quick. Ah, and there's the gunfire, so Bolo's like, yep, there's someone there. Nuga will bring out the drone to try to spot things out. Nuga is going to move right in. And he gets the frag on the fiery combat. That's huge this early in the match. Or this round, I should say. Although, Bolo does hit a trap, and now he's at half health. Gotta watch those traps, man. I have a little trouble with the camera there. Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. Maybe think someone's behind that door. Changing back. Quite behind that door. See Wolfmaster and Reaper kind of hanging back. 
flashbang does come out. Or something. It was not quite a flashbang, it was something. Reloading. They're all they're just all droning to try to spot things. And Ringo getting to frag onto Piggy. The drop the bomb although Nuggo goes down, so it is a, a 4v3. And Bulldo is going to go down. I mean, he's not dead yet, but Rez is going to be able to get a, a frag onto Reaper, so there's only two left for Drexel. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Not so sure Bulldo is going to be able to get revived. Smoke does come out. 35 seconds remain, so Marianne is going to have to make a move. Now it's 30 seconds. And Wolfmaster does take out Rico. Oh my goodness. So Bob is the only one left. He has to take out both. There's only 10 seconds remaining. Can he do it? He takes out one. But he doesn't find the other. The Nitro comes out! The C4! And with that, oh my goodness! Drexel takes this, but I have to tell you, even though this is a loss for Marietta, it was a very hard fought fight. Just tooth and nail every step of the way. You don't get much closer than this. You really don't. So, I mean, Marietta put up a very very hard fight, well played, but in the end, Drexel does take uh, the game. Oh my goodness, that was so close. But alright, so I think that's going to be it for tonight. I mean, we've been doing this for almost four hours, about three and a half hours. Man, that was one of our longer... Uh, Rainbow Six games. So, uh, thank you all for watching. That is most likely the last uh, match for our esports program for this season. I just want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you for uh, supporting along the way. All the follows, the subs. This kind of support helps keep the program going. When uh, we're looking, trying to form teams, looking at the direction of the program, you guys help make this happen. And where our program was at the beginning of the school year to where it is now, uh, it's just night and day. And there are a lot of things that we have planned, especially during the summer and the fall. We have some really uh, exciting things coming up. We got some awesome players that are coming in. So I think the future is bright for Marietta College Esports. Uh, so I have to once again thank you for being there with us every step of the way. Um, we're still going to try to broadcast things uh, in the meantime. If we have a couple practices left, we'll put that up. If we have League of Legends scrims, we'll still have our weekly Jackbox game night on Thursday, 7 o'clock. So please be sure to come back for that. And who knows? We'll, we'll try to do some other stuff during the summer if we can. So if you want to find out all the latest updates of what's going on with Marietta College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitter at Marietta Esports. Uh, on Facebook, you can go to facebook.com slash Marietta College Esports. If you want to watch the full version of this match, even though there was that three-minute window that was blocked out because we restarted the stream, you can go to our YouTube channel, bit.ly slash Marietta College Esports. Uh, it will be up, not right away, because of the whole Twitch affiliation thing, we can't put it up immediately, but we will have that up within a week, so you can check out those three minutes that you missed. We'll call it a... DLC, exclusive content, I don't know, Director's Cut. We'll call it Director's Cut. There we go. Uh, so once again, for all of us here at Marion Ecology Sports, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy what's left of this evening and your weekend.